So one of my friends sent me this Reddit post after I had done my block of Reddit posts. But once I read this, I was like, this needs to be its own video anyway. It's so important. So this was posted in the Narcissistic Spouse subreddit. And this one is a doozy, so prepare yourself, get a beverage. She says, what he left for me this morning on the kitchen table. She says, we've been married for 20 years. In 2022, he asked me to quit my job as a nurse. Admittedly, I was burnt out. So I could um, focus on one, losing weight, getting healthy, and two, our smex life and intimacy. To be frank, I gained weight, 50 pounds, since COVID due to both work and marital stress and wanted to lose some weight for my health. I have lost weight, 40 pounds, but I'm not working out with a personal trainer like he wants me to, and he doesn't think I'm committed enough to losing weight. As for my job, I've been wanting to go back to work for the past year, but he doesn't want me to, and it gets angry when I discuss it. He likes me being at home, he says, but then he holds my lack of income over my head and says I'm not meeting my end of the obligation. He says I don't need to work because he makes enough money for the household. He makes more than two times what I did, but... If I don't meet his smexual requirements, then I'm not making any contribution and he's losing income because I'm not working. I can't win. She really can't win. He wanted her to quit, she quit. She's not bringing in money. Now he's talking about the money obligations. Y'all have got to see this next part. Hold your horses, y'all. In bold letters, the request. For nearly 20 years, I've asked you to accept some facts about me and male smexuality. Number one, smexual consistency. Maslow's hierarchy places smex as a basic ongoing psycholo um, physiological need alongside food and breathing. I will have to look that up to see if, <laughs> if smex is a basic ongoing physiological need. Number two, there is a well-researched documented evolutionary need for smexual variety among social male mammals called the Coolidge effect. And then he gives her two links. The investment. This aspect of my life is so important that I've continued to make significant investments um, in it. And you, for the past 27 months, you've been relieved of, of the responsibility of working outside the home. The monetary value of this investment is large. In lost wages alone, this has already cost us over $119,000. At conservative rates of return, this means we have already lost over $461,000 that would have been available at your retirement and $1.7 million at your death. This amount uses conservative assumptions and doesn't factor in any additional costs we've incurred over the past two years. The cost of the past 27 months easily exceeds $2 million in lifetime value. Return on the investment. One, has there been any, um, been a significant positive improvement in the consistency of our smexual activities? No. Number two, has there been a, a significant and positive improvement in the variety of our smexual activities? No. Another week of total failure. Last week we had another long discussion and you gave another full commitment to make improvements this week. There was absolutely no creativity, thought, or effort put in into helping me navigate my trip. I had to send a text to you to give um, to give me a thought for um, self satisfaction purposes. When I got home, there was no sexual activity on Wednesday or Thursday night. There was no communication at all Wednesday or Thursday night about weekend plans or activities. The request in defeat yet again. For yet another week, you've made it abundantly clear that you do not care about making any of these of this work. How do we move together? How do we move forward together in a loving way? But wait, there's more before we discuss this. He put together the 
your investment return estimates. He put together a chart and everything, this yellow chart, with an initial investment of $119,000 invested over four, um, 40 years, assuming a 7% rate of return, you will have over $1.7 million in the future. Your total contributions will be uh, um, $119,000. Uh, $1,000. So then he gives this chart and everything. This is wild that he did this to this woman and he is the one that wanted her to quit her job. This letter to this woman is wild. And this right here would be grounds for divorce for any person. But the fact that he took the time to like make bullet points and details in all of what he is considered considering her failures is wild to me how they put so much emphasis on their pain that that's wild to me but let's get into some of these comments i do want um us to look up maybe you guys can look up in the comments maslow's hierarchy placing smex as a basic ongoing physiological need alongside food and breathing i see issue says this letter would turn me off so badly, I'd never be able to have smix with him again. i meet with an attorney and leave him a divorce petition on the effing kitchen table. And then the OP says, exactly what happens to me, talking about I never want to have smix with him again. She says, exactly what happens to me, these tantrums where he legitimates why I need to have smix with him have the exact opposite effect of what he wants. He yells, he does the silent treatment, and he pulls out scientific studies about bonobo monkeys to try to convince me that non-ethical monogamy is natural and monogamous monogamous marriage isn't blah 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 of these tactics i gotta say i like the silent treatment the best haha ha. she honed in on this part i'd meet with a, an attorney and leave him the divorce petition on the effing table and the op says lol that's a great idea i'm trying to work up to that i'm in counseling we're in marriage counseling too i may show this to our marriage counselor i swear she is charmed by him and thinks i exaggerate how he acts at home and then this person, um, great Dr. Ruth of Peel says, couples therapy is not recommended with narcs for exactly this reason. I would quit it immediately. Needs and Flower says, I can vouch for this. I didn't know mine was until our marriage counselor emailed me privately to tell me my partner has MPD. At least I got one that recognized it. That's good that they recognized it, but the whole, you know, being able to take therapy terms and weaponize it against people, this is one of the reasons why you do not take narcs to therapy or counseling. Men Wiggle says, they always charm the counselor and make you the villain. I swear this letter made me a combination of furious and nauseated. Give him some variety and smex bias. Stab, <laughs> poking him in the kidney next time he orgasms. I'm kidding, not condoning violence, but this will never improve. Counseling always fail. You live once, once. You'll spend at least five years after the marriage learning how not to live in fear and anxiety and being free and content. Don't let him rob you of any more time. This person says 100. Mountain Paper says, give him some variety and smex by poking him in the kidney next time he orgasms. I just spit my coffee laughing so hard. Mine got fixated on sodomy. He wanted that route. I wasn't interested in any way, shape, or form. So I started responding with, you first. Let me stick something up yours. He eventually dropped it. I do wonder if he secretly isn't a man-loving man. Um, I send the dream says, this, 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 this. Men Wiggle says, I don't know if you should show it to the counselor because he will weaponize that somehow. He will lose control, and once that happens, if they can't somehow turn it around, their anger is scary and unpredictable. And people like this who would never do that are violent when losing control and power. It can get unsafe. I think you need to decide to leave, and while you're deciding, set up your escape plan slowly. It's hard because they destroy your sense of self. But if you've survived this long for 20 years, you are a strong, strong woman who can do this. And when you do it, you will feel like rock bottom, but you will need a rock at the bottom to build up a solid house. That right there is some bars. Slowly, you build back up, you discover you, you make your life slowly how you want it, how it always should have been. Look up how they behave when you leave. 
It's unique to individuals, but always follows the same pattern. If you know what's coming, it's easier to navigate. And one day, you will have amazing smex that is beautiful and exciting and intimate and not a goddamn burdensome chore, and you won't even think of him. This person, Min Wiggle, said a word on today. She said a word on today. And you do have to plan carefully and get out quickly because, like she said, this person has robbed this woman of so much life already. No need to fall into the sunk cost fallacy. Okay, so here's the OP saying, you are right. Showing it to the counselor would make him feel out of control and he would lash out. I think he believes he controls narrative with our therapist and this would make him feel defensive and in a corner. Thanks for the insight. This is the reason why social media is so powerful. Women are sharing with other women and helping them game plan. And I love this because she might have made a misstep and it would have caused further issues in her home and her escape plan. Um, I'm going to end that there. This has been a great, um, this has been a great post. I really want people to know and understand that dealing with narcs, narcs or narcissists is definitely a, a different variety of people and you do have to game plan. You can't just up and leave. You have to mind how you tiptoe around them or speak to them in order to get to a place of safety. The person who you thought you married is not the person that they are at this particular time. So you have to be wise about it. You have to read up on narcissists. You have to look up the YouTube channels and all of that in order to get a sense of how they behave. So jump in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this one. I'm glad that um, my friend sent this to me. Don't forget to like, comment, and share because you really could be helping the next one.